Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a fountain pen from Tom's Studio. Now I did an unboxing of this and I'll link that below so you can see it all in action. Uh, but this is a really, really interesting pen from Tom's Studio. It is a pocket pen. It is the pocket fountain pen or the st uh, studio uh, pocket pen, depending on you know where you look. Uh, and they say small but mighty. Uh, and I've, I did an unboxing, so I, sh I showed all the packaging and everything there. But uh, on the inside here, you get some good information about the pen and filling it and refilling it and the nibs that are available. In the box, you get a lovely simple paper packaging for the pen or, you know, sort of like a pen. And uh, you get an ink syringe, which is really handy for refilling uh, and cleaning even uh, the ink cartridges because it is a small pen. It is a pocket pen. Uh, and in fact, it is this pen. So it is a small pen. It is a pocket pen, not big enough for an international sort of standard converter. So they provide it with a cartridge and give you the tools to reuse that cartridge, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So as I said, this is the Studio Pocket Fountain Pen. This is the Ivy version, which is this beautiful green. It also comes in black and three two-tone options, which are beautiful. It has a number six size nib, and uh, I have it in a fine. It comes in uh, fine and medium, as, as well as a extra fine semi-flex, a cursive italic, a titanium flex, an architect, and sometimes it comes with a pro flex nib. So I'm gonna talk about the parts and features, uh, and then I'm uh, gonna do writing sample, all that kind of stuff, and uh, give you my pros and cons. Okay, so starting at what is the top of the cap, I suppose, simple flat top. The body is octagonal, uh, and it's actually got these sort of large octagonal facets and then these sort of smaller uh, rounded out facets uh, to give the pen a nice sort of smooth feel in the hand. It is completely straight right down to the end here where the end of the cap and then you get the, the beginning of the barrel of the pen sticking out the end there. And it has these micro grooves on it which provide some nice grip. The end of that is completely smooth once again. You pull that out and this is the barrel of the pen. So you have this, this little raised section here with two O-rings on it, which is where the pen posts and it posts and caps onto there. So it posts onto that end, making a very good size pen. The barrel is straight until you get the join there uh, where you undo it to replace the ink cartridge. And then the, the grip tapers down slightly and as I say, it gets this number six size nib, which is branded there with Tom's Studio, which uh, is really nice. Uh, and then a nice plastic feed. As I said, you unscrew the body there and it comes with an ink cartridge using one of their inks, which is called Deep Black, which uh, you'll see in the writing sample, which is rather lovely. And there's an O-ring here, uh, which allows you to lock it down. They also say this pen can be eyedropped uh, and that the metal is treated to be able to handle that. And that O-ring helps with the seal of it. Just put some silicon, they say you need to put some silicon grease on those threads. Now I didn't choose to eyedropper it because uh, I'm quite comfortable using and reusing those cartridges. So they say when you eyedropper this pen that it has a 2.5 milliliter ink capacity, which is great uh, because as we all know, a standard uh, ink cartridge doesn't quite hold a milliliter of ink. So if you wanna have a large ink capacity, you can, as I said, eyedropper this. I just wanna point out once again, these grooves here that run down the barrel and uh, you know horizontally around the barrel and down the grip section. They're there to uh, stop the section feeling super slick uh, and just to provide some texture under the fingers. It's a nice detail that uh, companies who make metal pens often don't take into account, but it's nice to see a few brands doing that now. There's also a little hole here just on the cap, uh, which I, I may have missed on the website, but I didn't see any, uh, any uh, explanation of that. I'm assuming it's to stop the airlock as you un un uncap that pen, just so that you don't get like ink being drawn out of the, the nib and things like that when you uh, post it, because that would make a nice tight seal there on those O-rings. Obviously, this is a metal pen. It feels like it's anodized aluminium. Uh, so it's got, you know, good stability and ruggedness which i think a pocket pen you know should have and it's a it's an advantage to have metal pocket pens but because it is aluminium it's quite light uh so you're not going to weigh down your pocket too much with that okay time for a size comparison now and i've got it here alongside a kaveco sport uh, and one of my frankenfari uh, safari pens uh, where i just combined elements from a bunch of safari pens just for fun um you can see it is actually smaller here than the Kaveco Sport, which to me is kind of like the stock standard 
pocket fountain pen, and of course it is much shorter than a Lamy Safari in this format. Like the Kaweco Sport, this is not how you would write with the Tom Studio uh, Studio Pocket Fountain Pen. It is quite short. It's not designed to be written in this format. And now we see it at its full writing length. You see it holds up very well lengthwise alongside the Lamy Safari. It's only slightly shorter than a posted Lamy Safari, and it is much longer than the Kaweco Sport. So this becomes a good size pen, even a big size pen in this format. So what are the dimensions here of the Tom Studio Studio Pocket Fountain Pen? Well, they are 99 millimeters when they are capped. So nice and small, under 10 centimeters. It's 92 millimeters at this format. And then once you get it posted, it is 163 millimeters. So a good size pen, as I said, even a long size pen. Obviously, given the fact that it posts so deeply onto the barrel there, all that cap weight is sitting on your hand, so that's okay. The pen weighs a total of 25 grams, and I feel the balance is very good in this format. The grip section ranges from 9.2 to 11.2 millimeters, so it's a good size. And of course, it's got a number six size nib, so your writing distance away from the page is incredibly comfortable. So the Studio Pocket Fountain Pen retails on their website for 85 pounds or around 108 US dollars, 165 Australian. Now, you are getting a pen that has gone through multiple, uh, you know, sort of prototypes and planning and designing and done by, uh, you know, the company themselves. It's a small company, it's a unique pen, and it is their design. So I think those price points for what you get are actually pretty good um, there are certainly brands doing pens that are of lower build quality for a lot higher price. Let's do a writing sample now. Here we have Tom Studio. We'll call it the pocket fountain pen. Here with a steel fine nib. And the ink in this, um, according to the website, is the Tom's Studio Deep Black ink. Okay, this is, as I said, that deep black ink. It's nice, it's got a nice gloss to it, it's rich and dark, I enjoy it a lot. They seem to have a range of inks that are also, uh, you know, fount for fountain pen use and things like that, that look really, really nice. This is the deep black, according to the website. Let's do some writing. Okay, there is feedback on this nib. It isn't buttery, buttery smooth. It's certainly not scratchy, but it is also quite fine. Um, and so I find that it's a pleasant fine, it's a pleasant feedback. I quite like it. Um, you definitely feel your writing sort of on the page. Let's do some quick writing. Okay, it writes beautifully with controlled writing and for standard writing, but when you're scribbling like this, it does have the occasional kind of hard hard start or like skip it but for the most part in every day like this is pushing it to an extreme that you wouldn't you know consistently write at but with everyday writing as you could see through all of this it wrote perfectly well and reliably and consistently um it is a pretty stiff nib but i wouldn't say it's dry either i'd say it's actually quite wet um so it's it's you know it's got some nice flow and everything to it uh and reverse writing It's dry, it's scratchy, it's not ideal. But for everyday writing, and don't forget this is a pocket pen, so you know, you are th you're talking about a pen that you're going to carry for everyday writing, uh, you know, it actually keeps up very well and it does a nice job. So for standard writing practices, when you're not sort of scribbling super fast and you know pushing the, the nib and feed to its limit, works beautifully. So what are some of the pros and cons of a of this Tom Studio pocket fountain pen? Well, 
The only cons I have, there are two, and they're kind of linked in a way. And it's, these grooves on the section aren't going to be for everyone. People either like a textured grip section or they don't, uh, or you're impartial to it. But if you don't like it, just be aware that there are micro grooves on that section. Uh, and to me, it doesn't actually stop it feeling like slippery. I've got a number of anodized aluminium metal pens and it feels sort of the same. Like it's not slick, but I don't know how much grip it's actually adding. Maybe if they weren't there, I would notice it more. The other thing is, is this is a pocket pen. So you carry it in your pocket. It moves around a lot. It, you know, you do get splatters of ink as it's moved around. That happens and they end up in the cap. And then when you cap the pen and keep it moving around, they end up on the grip. And because there's micro grooves on that grip, they get into those grooves. I don't, I've, I've cleaned it before this. So like, they're not gonna be, you know, noticeable, but sometimes you just need like, you know, to use a, like a, 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 a wet tissue or something like that, just to get the ink out, out of the grooves to stop it getting on your fingers if that's a problem for you. But pros, okay, so I think the price is pretty good. Like for what you're getting, I think it's a really great price. As I said, unique, unique boutique brand, you know, working at a small scale, you know, making pens of this quality. Um, and at that price point, I think it's really great. I love the size, both the small size fits so well in the pocket, in, you know, it's good in your hand. And then at its big size, it's a big pen. That's a good size. I would be surprised if anyone's hand was too big for this pen. And if you had small hands, I still don't think it's gonna be a problem because the weight and the balance of the pen is so good. I love also these facets. Now, they're not just clear, square cut, octagonal facets. Having that extra little section that runs between them, rounding it off, you know, just gives it a really lovely feel and also a really lovely look as they catch the light, of course. And in this sort of dark green ivy color, it looks fantastic. I love the sustainability of the brand. Fountain pen cartridges get a bad rap because of the fact that they are not great for the environment. They are plastic that is going into waste. So how do you rectify that? You reuse them and that's something I do a lot. So not only does this brand get behind saying, reuse our cartridges, reuse, 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 they provide you with the tool to be able to do that in the box with the pen. So they've taken that into account. It's great. Also their packaging is all, you know, like paper and card and things like that. It's sustainable and recyclable. That's really, really great. Back to the actual pen itself, I love the range of nib that, nibs that are available. The fact that they make an architect, yes, it's for an extra price, but they make an architect nib that you can get on this pen straight up is awesome. And I love the fact that they have some flex nibs available in a really sturdy made metal pen. Love that so much. And then I love the build quality of this pen. It's nice, big, well-cut, turned and anodized pieces of aluminium. Uh, the, all the micro grooves are really nicely done. It's got nicely cut threads. And one thing I love is the with these O-rings that they're kind of out of the way. They're a necessity for posting and capping the pen, but the only time you see them is in between those formats. So when you're writing with it, they're out of the way. When the pen is capped and stowed away for you know to put in your pocket they're out of the way i really enjoy that that's gone the thought has gone into that and the thought has gone into so many aspects of the making of this pen and i really appreciate it so this was the tom's studio studio pocket fountain pen uh i hope you found this video interesting and useful please like and subscribe hit the notifications button all of that kind of stuff if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there is a way you would like to support this channel, I would love to hear from you. It's your support that makes all of this possible. A big, big thank you to Tom Studio for sending this pen out for a review today. I have thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed getting to know this pen and will continue to thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, it's just a really, really fabulous pen and, you know, a great everyday writer. It does, you know, in the fine in particularly, it, it's wet, but doesn't lay down a whole lot of ink. It does the job, it's sturdy, you know, and it looks great. So, thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy your pens.
Enjoy writing. And I'll talk to you soon.